Hello everyone, welcome to another Rick's Picks. Today I'm digging into the old toy box and I found the original Spawn action figure by uh, McFarland Toys. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take a look at him in packaging, then I'm going to take a look at him and his accessories, and then I'm going to give you my thoughts on them. And also this week I'm going to be doing reviews on Angela and Violator 2. So go ahead and check out those videos. And if you like any of these videos, hit that thumbs up or the subscribe button. They're small clicks for you, but it really helped this channel grow. So, without any further ado, let's get to the review. Okay, so here he is in packaging. Uh, you just got this real simple clamshell that he's in where you can see the figure, um, his accessories. He also comes with a comic book as well. You get a little bit of information here, a little something on the back. And when you spin it around this way, it shows you all the figures that are part of this wave. You got his play features, Spawn, the old school McFarlane, you know, toys. Actually, they're just called Todd toys back then. You got your skew and legal. All right. Uh, nothing on the bottom. So without any further ado, let's open him up and see what he's about. Okay, so here he is out of packaging. I love the look to him. I love the whole classic Spawn, you know, Detail into him. I love the red, black, white on top of black. You know, you got his iconic spikes here. You know, the overall look of the figure. He does have these soft plastic chains that are pretty cool. So let's give him the rotation. You know, he has his, you know, overall classic spawn look to him. All right. Uh, he does have a couple points of articulation. So the head does move. Got your shoulder joint, a thigh joint. And a knee joint. Okay. And he also comes with a couple of accessories. So he comes with this club here. Okay. He comes with this piece here for the cape. This here helps hold the cape onto him. And I'll get into that in a minute. The cape itself. All right. And he also comes with a comic. Oops, let's move him over here real quick. Which is, of course, you know, standard McFarlane art. I always love McFarlane's art. So, you know, I think this is just a kind of a brief, you know, go through of who Spawn is, what happened to him. I don't think it's actually part of the actual, you know, main story. You know, the uh, run, the, the run at the time. So, but you got that classic McFarlane art, which I just love, you know, the whole look to it. So, as you can also see, too, stands pretty well on his own. He doesn't really need, like, a stand or anything to go with him. So, let's start with some of these accessories. So, let's try this board with the nail in it. Fits in his hand, no issues. I don't know why that was the weapon of choice that they gave him, because... Anybody who reads the comics knows that, you know, Spawn got, like, all sorts of cool machine guns and, you know, all sorts of really cool weapons in the comics. So, I'm not 100% sure why they decided a board with a nail would be the weapon they would give their first Spawn figure. But, maybe it was just some sort of decision from the higher-ups. I don't know, but let's start looking into the cape. Okay. So he has a hole on the back here. This thing sits in here just like that. It follows his spine. And there's a hole in the back of the cape. All right. So you got to fiddle with it there. Now I found the peg for it. Okay. So the cape is on. Get these here. That plug in the here. So you, 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 this is soft plastic, so it's hard to get it in there. But once you get it in there, boom. All right. So there you go. 
Now the cape makes them a little bit back heavy, so you might have to readjust the legs forward to make them stand a little bit better. Hmm. All right, maybe not. There we go. Okay, so now we got him standing with the cape. I guess we'll give him his, you know, board and nail for whatever reason. So, there you go. Whoops. That popped out too, so there it goes. So, as you can see, the cape definitely makes him a little bit back heavy. But once you find his positioning, you know, he stands really well with it. Let's give him the whole rotation with the cape. All right. So he has that whole classic spawn look, which is really nice. I really like it. So, <laughs> Stan, thank you. So overall, I really like this figure. I think he would look good with, you, you know, your spawn collection. Yeah, he isn't as detailed or articulated or comes with half the stuff that most of the newer Todd McFarlane figures have. But he is the OG of the spawn line. So he's definitely worth having to go with your collection to sit on the shelf with all your newer spawn figures. So with that being said, I hope you guys really did like this review. If you did, go ahead and hit that thumbs up. And if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe. It's a small click for you and really help this channel grow. And one more thing, also share as well because the more it gets out there in the algorithm, the more people see it and the more this channel grows. So with all that being said, until the next one, late hey are you going to be in the philadelphia area between september 9th and 10th if so check out retrocon it's affordable they have lots of great vendors there's going to be cosplay competitions celebrities and much much more so go ahead and check out the link in the description and also samuel j jones is going to be there better known as flash gordon so check it out greg evigan will be there best known for bj and the bear my Two Dads, and Tech Wars. Voice actress Kathy Garver will be there, the one and only Firestar from Spider-Man and his amazing friends. Retrocon has been taken over by the Dukes, so we got Tom Walpad, John Snyder, and Kathy Batch, Luke, Bo, and Daisy, alongside with the Jersey General, representing the Dukes of Hazards. Yee-haw! Next on our list... All the way from Cybertron, the hit rock band Cybertronic Spree. And check this out, the rare Hasbro Proton Pack as a raffle prize. Now you can't beat that.